has the capacity to use a lot of data, uh, process it very quickly, um, help us make decisions in rapid, automated kinds of ways. And if that gives us more time to be able to talk with our clinicians and have that human relationship, that could be transformative. My research for a long time has been at the intersection of um, ethics, um, informatics, and policy. So for me, that means um, finding out from people what their values and things that are important to them, and then policy being what we want to do about that. And again, for a long time, that expert, that sort of unification of ethics and policy has been on issues of data sharing and informatics and information exchange and questions, you know, those kinds of technologies. And AI is where we are today, where that all that big data has gone. And so a lot of my research is talking to patients and the public about how AI is used in their care and how they think AI should be used in their care. Um, people want to know that we're using these technologies in the context of their care. That's way up there in terms of what's important. The other kinds of things that people are concerned about are around issues of privacy and even more so sort of consumer protections, right? So what happens when things go wrong because they're very likely to go wrong? It's important because AI can sort of unfettered cause a lot of damage. And so um, hopefully the work that we do on, on this topic can prevent some of that. So there are a number of issues with bias in the use of, of clinical AI. The fundamental issue in many ways is that there's always going to be a certain amount of bias embedded in any system, in any algorithm. So we really have to be very clear about what are the outcomes we care about in the end, and then have a system for checking whether we're achieving those outcomes or making them worse. The landscape of um, governance for AI in healthcare settings and in academic medical centers in particular is exceedingly patchwork. We're sort of in many ways starting from zero um, or very little. Hopefully, this is an opportunity to build a system that we haven't had previously, which means that we can actually think about structural racism, issues of equity, look at biases in new ways and try to address the problems we've had for a very long time. It's also a time where we can hopefully spend a little bit of extra time to get the evidence that we need, for example, from patients and the public about what they would prioritize in a governance system um, and incorporate those in the systems we want to build.